Ian, how do you feel like camp's going so far for you? I think it's going well. You know, I'm having a lot of fun out here, and I'm uh, just trying to be as fun, I'm trying to just learn as much as I can. Uh, it's a great group of quarterbacks, and um, they've just been helping me out on everything, you know. And uh, at the same time with them helping me out, we're all competing, which is, which is what it's got to be like. And uh, I'm just having fun out here, absorbing, absorbing as much as I can, and truly learning a lot. What did you see in those two touchdown throws in the red zone there? Two strikes there. Yeah, uh, just a big red zone period. Um, you know, Coach Bateman's no turnovers, no sacks. Be smart with the ball. We obviously have a field goal, you know, in our back pocket. So that's that's what's on my mind. But we ran a nice little stick nod off the off the safety, which was perfect. It was my first time running that play. Um, so just wanted to look off the safety. And I knew Juwan. He was obviously having a great day today in a great camp, and he's somebody I really like throwing to. So um, just had to get in the end zone there. Are there moments, I mean, I'm sure when you went from high school to Notre Dame, it was a little bit eye-opening. Are there still moments, obviously, in practice where the speed or something kind of startles you a little bit or kind of says, wow, that's, that's different? Um, yeah, I mean, it's the NFL. You know, it's obviously, there's a lot of growing to do, you know, for everybody, you know, as a rookie and as you, as, as you go on. Um, I've had those moments. You know, you can't be late. It'll be a pick and it'll go the other way, that's for sure. And maybe in college you might be able to get away with it, and especially in high school. Um, but just got to be on time. You got to know where your checkdowns are. It's huge. Um, you got to understand where everyone's got to be. And honestly, just I try to think of it as you know what the defense is doing. What are they trying to accomplish in their coverage? That's the biggest thing, and that'll help me get through all my reads quicker. Um, but yeah, I've had a, I've had a few moments like that. You know, good and bad, obviously. I think you know, I think you come into this league and you're going to have a few of those moments. It's only been ten days of practice, but how do you feel you have grown through these practices? I feel like I've grown a lot. I actually texted my coach back at Notre Dame. was like, we could have done a lot more at Notre Dame. I have 10 days here. I just feel like I've grown so much, you know, uh, trying to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. You know, there's these plays are longer, saying it to the huddle, taking command. Uh, the defense is disguising more. So I just, a lot in 10 days. It feels like it's been longer than 10 days. Um, but just truly enjoying it out here. It's a true blessing for me. Um, just having fun, competing every single day. And I've learned a lot. I've already grown a lot and it's only been 10 days. How much did playing in Chip Long's offense really prepare you for this? Yeah, a lot. You know, I had three coordinators at Notre Dame, so I got to learn three different systems. All three were pretty, you know, pretty different. And then coming to this system was, you know, it's more different than, you know, everything I've been through. A lot more under center work, which is good for me just to help, you know, help expand my game. Uh, but playing with Coach Long and under Coach Reese, I learned, learned a ton. They were very uh, different offenses. I feel like we ran a lot of RPOs which I really like to do, um, you know, with Coach Long. And then with Coach Reese, we did a lot of tight ends, 12, 13 personnel under center, which got me, um, you know, ready for coming here. Ian, what's, the, what's the biggest challenge in this all for you? Like coming uh, right now, yeah. Uh, it's about taking command, um, knowing these plays, they're longer. You know, in college, we're doing all these signals. And this time, it's, it's real quarterback position is what, it's, is what it is up here in the NFL. Um, learning it. Um, saying it to everybody, taking commands so they know that you know what's going on, and then uh, just playing fast, you know, really playing fast, understanding one, two, if it's not there, check that, you know, and um, our running backs can do a lot of things, as you as you guys know, obviously here, uh, getting the ball down to those guys, it's, it's a smart play, it's a great play, you don't need to force anything, um, but I just want to take command, you know, be a leader out there. Is the volume of the language and the volume of just the sheer offense been a challenge, just how much is in that playbook? Yeah, it's a lot. I'm spending a lot of time. That's what I spend most of my time on. Um, you know, the plays are really long. So I want to know them all. I want to say them right. I want people to know when I get in the huddle that they, they know that I know what I'm doing. That's how it starts. You can't go out there and run the play if I don't know where everybody's going. So uh, just in 10 days, you know, going through all the installs and we've put in a ton of plays. So it's all new for me, but I'm already feeling that much more comfortable. You know, I remember what I felt like in rookie minicamp. You know, you feel like the, the thousand plays are in there, and I already feel a lot better about it. So, got a lot of work to do, though. From a, from a pretty young age, like playing football, was accuracy always something that you really focused on? I mean, being a more undersized quarterback, is that something yeah. that you, ha you have to pay attention more to timing and accuracy and 100%. different aspects? Yeah, of that? I try to, I really take, take pride in my accuracy. I always say, like, being able to extend the play in my accuracy. Um, just feel like since a young age, it's. It, it's been able to get me to where I am today, you know, being accurate, not just completing the ball, but putting it in a place where they can actually catch it and make a play with it. Um, I grew up, man, I grew up watching Drew Brees because he does exactly that. And honestly, that's somebody that I've looked up to and I want to play like him. So got to be accurate. It's more than just completing it for me, you know, you got to be hard on yourself. I was just about to ask you about that. Have you even had a chance to talk with him or maybe even get some advice from him? Yeah, I got to uh, text him before minicamp 
I uh, just told him that we kind of ironic we switched spots a little bit. He went to Notre Dame. Obviously, he's going to do broadcasting there. So I got to tell him, you know, excited for him doing that. And then uh, last week, you know, he was in town here for a second. So I got to talk to him for like 30 minutes. But I know he'll be around here probably probably a lot. So got a lot of questions for him. A couple practices ago, uh, you were over there witnessing. You had a lot of conversations that day with Ronald Curry. What are some of the things that you guys are talking about as practice is going on? Yeah, taking mental reps. Um, you know, there's obviously a quarterback competition going on here, and you know I want to be ready, and I want to be able to run a play that you know maybe I haven't even ran before. I just want to be ready for that. You know, if, if my name's called, so just every single play, he's he's reading the play to me. I'm reading it back to him, taking a mental rep, looking at it. You know, what's the defense doing? Where should we have gone with the ball? Stuff like that. So he's helped me a ton. Um, you know, he's, I'm new in this offense, and I'm learning a lot, and I'm up there with him every single day. So he's helped me a lot. As far as you mentioned the length. I mean, everybody had to take a foreign language in high school. Is it somewhat parallel to that or not quite that extreme? Like um, I would language? say I would say football is football. You, only, you can only do so much and everybody does it, but it's just the way you call it. So, you know, we run very similar plays at Notre Dame, but it's just called something completely different. So you got to flush everything that you learned at Notre Dame away. Um, you might even have formations that are the exact same. They're called something different. That's just kind of football, and I've learned that very quick. So it's definitely different. Um, there's something about like having a rhythm with what you say. You know, you want to say your play, or say your formation, say your protection, nice and clear. Then you go into your motions, then the play. So it, there's a way of actually saying it, so that guys can understand it. You don't just go in there and mumble it all off as fast as you can, and everybody's confused. So, it, uh, yeah, it's kind of like a different language, but it, football is football at the end of the day. Is there an aspect to I'm sure Taysom and Jameis are kind of still learning parts of the offense? I mean, I'm sure they don't have it down pat like Breeze and. And Sean Payton did together. I mean, yeah. is there an aspect of learning with them that can make the transition a little bit easier, just given the fact that they're still learning in some capacity? I think they they know it really well. Um, but even with that said, the amount of you know, time that they actually spend with me helping me is I don't think that would happen everywhere else. You know, it's a special quarterback room. I've already noticed that. You know, we got guys competing for jobs, and you know they they're taking their time. You know, they're willing to help me out. Um, but to know it like Drew Brees is obviously pretty hard, but these guys, they know it, you know, they know it. And every time I got a question, there hasn't been a time where they're like, yeah, I don't know what's going on. They, they, they know it. So I think that helps me a lot. They're confident in it. And then they can tell me, you know, what I need to know. I, I got to ask you about the pump, pump fake play. <laughs> uh, I mean, not trying to do that. I guess I got big hands. So um, it works sometimes, you know, I, Drew Brees, I've been watching a lot of his film. He does a lot of this, you know, and it, it works. And it helps you be, you know, that much more accurate. But a few times out here, I was gonna throw it, and then something happened. It's just a reaction, and I pulled it back. So well, got lucky. Like, I mean, you got that's almost like the drip, drip, yeah. nerf ball. I, mean, I know. That was, that's I'm not trying to do it. Some the the pump after that, I was trying to do the first one a few days ago. Just kind of happened. Just kind of a reaction. How much film have you watched of Drew? Of Drew? Every day. Yeah, because every time we're putting in the play, he's the one running it. You know. So, um, but even before that, in college. I probably had like three or four quarterbacks I love watching, and he's one of them. So it was, it was just ironic how I ended up here. But I've watched him a ton, and he makes throws that are unbelievable. So it's fun. It makes you want to work harder. makes you want to be that much better. Who are some of the other guys that you said Drew? Who else? Oh, that I watched? Yeah. yeah. I like watching Russell Wilson a lot. Um, I like watching Drew Brees, Baker Mayfield. And if you go back a lot, I like watching Brett Favre. So it's kind of my guys to watch a little bit. Is there a meaning to the, the wristband? This one? Yeah. I got a ton on. I got two Notre Dame ones on. They both say Notre Dame number 12. I have never taken them off. Uh, and then I got this one here. It's Humble Over Hype. I actually got it right when I got here from one of the guys in the locker room. He must be, he had a ton of them, so I just took it. Yeah, I didn't know if there was like yeah, no. it or... Got a ton of them on. I haven't taken them off. Do you remember who it was? Yeah. Who gave me it? Yeah, Shaq gave me it. Yeah, Shaq had them. Uh, I don't know if he had a deal with that company or whatever, but he had a bunch of wristbands and I like what it says, so I was like, no way. Good? Perfect. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.